come on, come on, guys. You're just too kind to me. On tonight's episode, we will be talking about cooperation and conflict with European explorers and Native Americans. My guest this evening, starting with the closest to me, is Christopher Columbus. Then next to him, we have Henry Hudson. Then next to him, we have Vasco Nunez de Balboa. Next to him, we have the Frenchman, Jacques Cartier. Then next to him, we have Hernando de Soto. And then last of all, John Cabot. Um, Mr. Columbus, what do you think you're doing? I am just showing you that I am on fire! Oh, sit down. <laughs> and first up, on the hot seat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone, let's just calm down around here. Oh, uh, we need to take a station break. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Is everyone okay now? Gee whiz. Yeah, I think we can move on. So once upon a time, I was tilling the land that we humanity all own. Daddy, 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 you gotta come down to the beach, hurry, hurry. <laughs> I think we'll call this land India and call you Indians. <laughs> uh, who are you? Um, if this isn't conflict, I don't know what is. I felt so angry. There was so much I wanted to say. There was so much I wanted to do. What could I say? What could I do? He said that the land that I have lived on my entire life was now his? And what is an Indian anyways? Hey now, you need to calm your temper. I went in search of India and I found it. You live in India, so you're an Indian. By the way, my job was to pursue the three G's, God, gold, and glory. I was going to teach you about God, find some gold, and I was going to get me some glory back in Spain. Ha! <laughs> Since no one apparently taught you, I'm going to teach you now. You can't take what does not belong to you, and you can't claim what has already been claimed. What is that? And why are you laughing? big deal. It's just a little bitty sample from your diary. So you think we might make good slaves, huh? 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 Cat got your tongue, huh? I can't believe he did that! <laughs> you know there's more to the story than that. I, John Cabot, do hereby declare that history is not one-sided. As they say in the United States of America, Things that are about to get real. Don't try to act like you were all innocent. You traded, buddy. Yeah, you throw up your hand. You traded, buddy. That's a sign of cooperation. Trading isn't cooperation if you're being forced. Just sit down and let me educate you on what cooperation is. Ah, the air smells so fresh. Oh yeah, cooperation. Ha! Cooperation's when two or more people work together for the common good. Natives helped Europeans with farming techniques, and food from the New World was introduced to the people of Europe. Technologies, including weapons and tools, were exchanged. And the last example of cooperation... <coughs> trade. Whether you want to accept it or not, it did happen. Ah, oh, Mr. Cabot, that's very nice of you. Let me return the favor. Let me educate you about what conflict is. Oh, snap. Okay, I'm going to explain the conflict between the natives and the Europeans. And by the way, Mr. Columbus, yeah you, the one who has Columbus Day in the United States, even though you didn't even set foot in the United States, Happy Indigenous Peoples Day. Booyah! So you want to talk about conflict. European explorers took land from Native Americans. European explorers stole gold from Native Americans. We were forced to accept and believe in your God. And if we didn't, that meant death. And Christopher Columbus, you mentioned that you came to the new world in search of glory. You wanted to bestow glory upon yourself for conquering a land that was already claimed. Another European conflict with Native Americans, disease. It has been said over 90% of all the Taino that lived in North America had perished very shortly after the arrival of Christopher Columbus in 1492 on his first voyage to the New World. And lastly, there were language differences between the Native Americans and European explorers. Christopher Columbus, you may have thought that everything that you said to the Taino when you first arrived in the New World was beautiful and eloquent, but I have news for you. 
We didn't understand a thing you were trying to say. Well, that's our show. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, hey, hey. Don't forget to check us out on TPT, Teachers Pay Teachers, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. And don't forget to check out our YouTube channel at Bowtie Guy and Wife. And check out our blog at bowtieguyandwife.com.